All right, y'all. As of like a year ago, the PlayStation Network integration plugin stopped working because of some stupid cookie issue. So here's how you can fix it. You'll see here in a second. It's gonna If it's not working, you're gonna get an error, something to this effect after you put in the correct password. The connection to the server cannot be established and then it's gonna put in a, an IPv6 address. Don't bother searching around the internet about some nonsense where people are gonna tell you that IP v6 is required for playstation network that's not the case this is just an issue with how the cookie is passed from galaxy 2 or rather to galaxy 2 i guess because this is a basically a web browser integration where it pops up with this window uh it's it's like not passing your your login correctly even though it's even though it's not like you're logging in somewhere else. So to fix this, you'll want to go into your C drive, into your Windows user profile, which is users, then whatever your username is, app data, local. GOG.com. Galaxy plugins installed, PSN, and then depending on your version of the PSN plugin that's installed, the number is going to be different. Mine is 38087. It should not matter really what version of the plugin you have. This fix should work regardless. You're going to want to find your uh, plugin.py Python file. Just open it with the text editor, right click, open with. And you need to find this function where it says async def authenticate. And then inside of the parentheses, it'll be self stored credentials equals none. So you can replace this entire function. However, First, you need to go to this URL that's in the description. If you if you're already logged in to GOG, then it's going to give you a cookie value. Then you need to copy after it says something like MPSSO. Copy everything within the parentheses. I'm sorry. Copy everything within the quotation marks after the colon. And just paste that somewhere and save it for a moment. And you can replace the line after in the if loop where it says if not store cookies. Replace that entire line and just make a direct reference to your actual cookie. So it'll say store underscore cookies equals NPSSO. And then like the instructions here say paste that value. You can see on mine it's directly underneath this line. So paste that within the quotation marks delete everything inside the quotation marks and replace it with that SSO string make sure that you close galaxy before you actually save this file Then you can actually just delete this entire section after store cookies and replace it with basically the same thing from the if not stored cookies loop. And again, just copy that entire string within the quotation marks, then in quotation mark, in bracket. The, the uh, spacing here on the line doesn't matter. You can backspace the empty line. It's not going to have a compilation error because of syntax. And then that's it. Just, you can save out of this file. Or, I mean, close out of this file and then save it. Open Galaxy 2.0 again. Oh, 
wait a thousand years for it to open? Go back into your settings. Back into your uh, integrations. Hit the connect button on PlayStation Network. Eventually it'll pop up. It, it may pop up with the login. Otherwise you'll see it connected. No issues whatsoever. Close out and then you're done. <laughs>